Welcome. My name is Tom Healy, and on behalf of the International Capital Market Association, thank you for watching this introductory video on the Bond Data Taxonomy Pack, or BDT, which can be downloaded from ICMA's website. As the digital transformation of primary bond markets continues to accelerate, ICMA and the BDT Working Group, including issuers, investors, banks, law firms, market infrastructure providers, and vendor firms have built consensus to represent key bond information. The BDT provides an agreed language to promote automation and reduce the risk of fragmentation across the issuance process, independent from the type of technology used. Importantly, it is represented in a machine-readable format so that it can be picked up and understood unambiguously. The BDT schema is based on XML, although other formats are accepted. The BDT pack includes three XML schema definition files, XSDs, two examples of bond offerings in XML format as defined by the XSD, a user guide, and a reference Excel spreadsheet. The Excel reference sheet contains definitions, data types, and allowed values for more than 90 data elements typically found in a vanilla bond term sheet. The Excel reference sheet supports usability of the machine-readable components by providing a reference between these familiar data elements as seen on the left-hand side, the BDT definition fields, and relevant ISO data elements seen on the right-hand side. For example, some elements such as issuer LEI are captured under the party category of the XML definition, which has a subsection capturing relevant attributes, in this case, the LEI. Scrolling over to the right, you can also see the definition reference to the relevant ISO field of LEI identifier. Other elements are captured under the categories of party role, issuance, and product. The BDT fields show how each data field is defined from its category grouping, element name, and expected values such as defined type, patterns, and whether multiple values are expected. Of the three XSD files, the ICMA bond data taxonomy file defines the overall structure of all fields covered as part of the initial scope of work. While the ICMA bond data taxonomy enums file defines the enumerations or allowed values for relevant fields, and the ICMA bond data taxonomy isotypes file defines the reference ISO data types, both which apply to the main XSD. Looking closer at the main XSD, the file is structured with the primary data type categories of party role, party, issuance, and product. The product definition includes data types that define the bond itself, such as security identifiers, aggregate nominal amount, maturity date, and interest payments. An interest payment and related information is itself a complex type with its own structure that defines interest type, interest rate, commencement date, and detail on interest payments. Payments are also a complex type that define dates and amounts. The issuance definition covers the majority of the remaining data points and captures details relating to primary transaction, such as specified denominations, issue price, benchmark references, net proceeds, selling restrictions, among other information. The parties to the issuance are defined in a separate complex type party 
Parties can be referenced from other XML types using the party ID. So the role of a party is defined in the party role section with a reference to the party. Party roles are further defined by a defined set of enumerations that are in the ICMA bond data taxonomy enums file. Defined party roles include issuer, guarantor, lead manager, joint lead manager, fiscal agent, principal paying agent, calculation agent, stabilization manager, and trustee. Other enumerations include rating agencies, rating outlooks, issuance type, status of the note, form of the note, day counts, selling restriction codes, governing law, benchmark codes, and listing markets. The third XSD file, ICMA Bond Data Taxonomy Isotype, includes definition based on ISO standards, such as ISO dates, currency fields, ISIN, and other security identifiers. There are two files in the BDT pack that show how the XSDs are used to create XML files. Example one is a bond offering with an issuer and six joint lead managers. Each party role is linked to the party using the party PID. The issuer section also includes the credit ratings. The issuance section includes all the details of the offering, including the issuance type, issue date, settlement date, benchmark, clearing information, and any selling restrictions. The bond being offered is described in the product section, which includes the bond's identifiers, its form of note as bearer, the status of note is subordinated. It pays fixed coupons annually and has a short first coupon. A second example in the BDT pack shows a similar senior unsecured bond maturing on June 23rd of 2027 with fixed annual payments and a long first coupon. The user guide covers what has been discussed in this video and describes the design approach used to define the XSDs and XML files. To recap, the ICMA bond data taxonomy is a common standardized language to represent key bond information. It promotes automation and reduces the risk of fragmentation across the issuance process, independent from the type of technology used. The BDT pack includes machine readable definitions of key fields, expected values, and relevant ISO elements. And we've shown briefly what these components look like within the zip folder and when open to show its XML format. We encourage participants to download the pack and explore how you can make use of this best practice work. ICMA also welcomes engagement in the maintenance and development of the BDT. See our BDT webpage and please feel free to contact us for further information.